Oh hi guys and welcome to day 63 of our 365 days of courage where we always try to encourage one another every day with God's words in the Bible. We look for verses that assures us not to be afraid, to fear nothing, and to take courage. So our courage verse for today, which also happens to be the gospel reading for this day, is taken from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 9, verse 22. Ano sabi don? Courage, my daughter, your faith has made you well. Alright? So, ano yung kwento about our verse for today? So, um, this is actually another way of presenting to us yung Gospel about the woman who is hemorrhaging for 12 years was healed when she touched the cloak of Jesus. Yung alala ninyo yung uh, isa sa mga courage verses natin when Jesus healed Jairus' daughter, di ba? Uh, there were two stories there. Yung isa is yung babae na nagdutugo, nag hemorrhaging for 12 years. And the second story of healing na nangyari is uh, when the daughter of Jairus, um, who was so ill, died and that's when Jesus assured Jairus na huwag ka matakot, huwag pakinggan yung sinasabi nila because your daughter is not dead but she's only sleeping and that's where he uttered the words talita kum ah, diba? but for our courage verse for today, we focus on the healing of the hemorrhaging woman naman and uh, dun sa naunang gospel, I think from the gospel of Mark yun, is hindi nabanggit yung exact words na sinabi ni Jesus dun sa babae which is dito sa gospel natin ngayon sa Matthew 9:22 is sinabi niya sa babae huwag ka matakot courage my daughter because your faith has made you well now why do we need to focus on this uh, etong etong linya na to kasi of course this is a courage verse that focuses on Jesus assuring the woman na sinasabi niya, huwag kang matakot. Now, teka lang, bakit ba, natatakot ba yung babae? Well, uh, in, in the story, the woman came out trembling with fear. Bakit, why was she trembling with fear then? Kasi, anong nangyari, while Jesus was on his way to Jairus' house, itong hemorrhaging woman, so determined to be healed, sabi niya, mahawakan ko lang sana yung, yung dulo, yung laylayan ng kanyang damit. I know I will be cured. And so she did. Hinawakan niya. And then, that was when Jesus felt that power has gone out of him. Ibig sabihin, naramdaman niya na may nawalang kapangyarihan sa kanya. And so he was looking and said, who touched me? Sinong humawak sa akin? And the apostle said, Lord naman, sa dami ng tao, natural may hahawak sa'yo. But bakit kaya ini-stress natin yung portion na yun when Jesus was looking for the person who touched him? And that was when the woman who was healed at that moment, ako po, she was trembling with fear. Bakit siya natatakot? Because she, she's guilty. Bakit siya guilty? Guilty siya na siya yung humawak kay Jesus. Bakit? Eh, di ba? Uh, gustong gusto man ni Jesus na makapaggamot, di ba? Eh, ba? Bakit she felt guilty? Because feeling niya, ninakaw niya yung healing na yun. Eh, so what kung ninakaw niya? Here's the thing. Jesus stressed the fact na sinasabi niya sa babae, huwag kang matakot. Courage, my daughter. Why? Kasi, ibig sabihin, Jesus notices your illness, your pains, your hurts, your cries, your worries, your fears, he notices all of it. And of course, when power came out of him, sabi niya, sino ang mawak sa akin? Ito, nagpilosopo pa yung mga apostoles. Naman, ang daming tao, syempre mahahawakan ka. But Jesus specifically knew that he was touched for a purpose. And the purpose is healing. And that is why he took also this opportunity to show to everyone that the mere touching you can get healed as long as you have faith as long as naniniwala ka 
And that was what happened to the woman. She believed that if only she touches the tassel of Jesus' clock, she will get healed. And that belief, yung paniniwala niya na yan, yung pananampalataya niya na yan, that was what cured her. Now, of course, Jesus is not endorsing na hawakan natin lahat ng kanyang mga rebulto. No. He is focused on our faith. Yung pananampalataya natin na kapag tayo ay nanalig sa kanya, ibig sabihin na kapag tayo ay nakakaramdam ng sakit, ng, ng mga problema, ng mga takot, ng mga agam-agam, lahat ng mga yan, na kapag tayo ay nakakaramdam ng mga yan, Jesus is like saying to us, hawakan mo ako, kumapit ka sa akin, huwag kang bumitaw sa akin, at yung mga nararamdaman mo na yan, mapapagaan. And some of us will be healed. Bakit some? Why not all? Because it is also up to us if we want to be healed. That is why Jesus told the hemorrhaging woman, Courage, my daughter, your faith healed you. Yung pananampalataya mo ang gumamot sa'yo. Hindi yung cloth ang gumamot sa'yo. Yung paniniwala at pananampalataya mo. And so guys, ang, ang message sa araw na ito, on this day 63 of our 365 days of courage, Jesus is saying to us and to all of you out there na may problema, may sakit, may karamdaman, may pinagdadaanan, humawak tayo sa Kanya. Kumapit tayo sa Kanya at magtiwala tayo because we all know that with God, nothing is impossible. Because you see, the mere fact na hinawakan niya lang, she was cured. And so, ganun din yung sa atin. Yung pananampalataya sana natin ay na kay Kristo, na kay Jesus, na kay Panginoon. Sana. And we will all be healed. All. Diba? Kanina sabi ko, some. Because, yung nga, it's up to you if you want, if you really want to be healed. And so guys, for those of you who are undergoing trials right now, for those of you who are undergoing illness, sickness, worries, fears, troubles, problems, lahat ng mga yan, kapit ka lang sa kanya. Maniwala ka maka, na makakaya mong malusutan yan with his help. Sabi nga niya, di ba, only believe. That was what Jesus said to Jairus. Don't listen to them. Only believe. And so, yung dalawang healing stories na yan dito sa gospel natin, the healing of Jairus' daughter and the healing of the hemorrhaging woman. Jairus' daughter was 12 years old. The woman was sick for 12 years. Coincidence? Purposeful yan. May purpose yan. May dahilan yan. It's not just coincidence. It is Jesus saying to us, to you and to me, na kapit lang tayo sa kanya. Diba? And so guys, thank you once again for watching and I hope you still tune in tomorrow for day 64 of our 365 days of courage. Kapit lang guys. Alright, bye. See you.